Hello there everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. So we continue our journey deeper into the hospital, if you remember in the last part I took quite a long time to solve that frankly quite easy Alice in Wonderland puzzle, but let's uh, press on anyway, and we'll try not to think about that. Okay, so we managed to finally get through to the, the, set, the other side of the second floor. We haven't explored it yet, because I wanted to come down here and save. So, let's go do that. Let's go explore. Alright, let's take the elevator back up to the second floor. <clears throat> and my voice just weirdly cracked there. Second floor? <clears throat> thanks, <laughs> thanks uh, Thros, and thanks of voice for really working in perfect harmony there to make me look like a fool. Oh, actually, I can't go through here yet. Okay, whoops. My bad. We'll just go up to like the third floor and just get the staircase to the uh, take the staircase down. Not a problem. Get to enjoy more of the elevator, which is nice. Okay, let's keep moving. Nice. So right. again, the map. It's the most useful tool you'll have in this. Well, other than. Okay, you have a lot of useful tools, but the map is definitely one of the more crucial. So... Let me just go down to floor number two. And we will... And here we are. Right, let's see what's on the other side of that door. I'm quite interested to know myself. Alright, well, we've already got enemies here, so this should be an inch. Oh, there you are. We've got our trusty emergency hammer here, doling out justice. Okay, you're the only other one. Oh, there's another one behind you. Wow, that was actually only one hiss. That's seriously... She's seriously dead. Nice. I'm telling you, I love... I friggin' love this thing. Seriously, look at that. Okay, so let's go and look at the operating prep room. Which I bet it's going to be a fun thing to look at. And so we've got more enemies in here. Okay, I was kind of thinking the other one was going to ambush us from behind there. Surprisingly, she didn't. I'm actually kind of shocked. It's like perfect opportunity. Seriously, the the reach on this thing is fantastic. I'm saving so many bullets by doing this. Again, it always pays to be sure. Okay. Come on, come on. A swing and a swing. There's a key here. Basement storeroom key. We have a clue! The basement storeroom. Richard and Harry get a clue. I can't believe I just referenced that title. Really? I frighten myself. I really do frighten myself sometimes. What's, in, what's this? We've got disinfecting alcohol. I'm sure that will come in handy in some form. We still haven't found a screwdriver yet for that, um... For the the screw plays upstairs, I'm guessing we'll find that maybe in the basement storeroom. Okay, if you stop blocking my path, thank you. Just ignore the very in creepy industrial sounding music. I think you're used to it by now. So, okay, two o five is locked. This is not locked. Thank you. What's in here? There's a first aid kit. We'll always take one of those. If I can take it, eventually I will pick it up. There we go. Okay, is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. Chairs seem to be empty. There's a lot of chairs in here, but no bed or anything. I'm presuming where the, uh, the hole in the floor is, that's where the bed would have been. Maybe this is like a... I guess this could have been used like as a group therapy room or something. Who knows? Um, right, so we've seen everything up here. So... Let's go down to the basement storeroom, since that is our only clue, so... Now we've unlocked the door with the elevator, so we won't make that mistake we made earlier again. Right. To the basement! 
Alfred. <sighs> Can't imagine if Batman did actually say that to the basement, Alfred. That would sound highly suspect, wouldn't it? Right, loading screen among there. Okay, let's open up that storeroom and see what's on what's inside. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was expecting an enemy for here. Okay, the shotgun shells, we'll obviously take those. Is that a bookcase? Oh, I think we can move this. Can we move this? I guess we move it from the other side. Yes, I would. Would you look at that? A hidden door. Now that, now that is interesting. Right. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Bullets. I had a feeling there was more. There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Best to be sure. It's through here. It's a grace. I think that's... Looks like there's a... Can't move it since the vines have grown around this. Is this where I use the alcohol? Um, there's this... Okay. Right, so can we go through the grate? The vines absorb the alcohol, so lighter, I would assume? That's right, burn! Let's let out the inner pyromaniac! Let out that inner pyromaniac. Burn! Burn! Coincidentally, if any uh, police uh, policemen or like that a person of that ilk is watching us, I'm uh, no, I uh, I'm not a pyromaniac. That was just for a joke. Oh, hello. Come on. So we're going in trial hallway of combat. Simpson, I always knew I'd kill you in a hallway of combat. Alright, I got them all. Alright, let's have a look around. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh crap. Get up! Get up! That's cheating. You can't do that. Alright, well, let's quickly heal up. We'll take the gun, because... Get off! I'm just gonna have to get out of their way. Whew, that was close. That was close. It's a good swing, actually. All right, just quickly reload that gun. Presuming we don't have a mo. Very odd camera angle. There's a, ooh, a, v, ooh, a videotape. There was a room with a VCR, so we can use that later. We, we don't have a map, I was going to say. Alright, let's just keep looking around. It's in here. Mm. I'm not going to lie to you, that actually made me jump, and I feel like such an idiot for jumping. Well done. Okay, lock jammed. Lock jammed. Lock not jammed. What's in here? What's this? It's a bedroom. It appears to be a bedroom, of, a sort of a room, a a hospital like room been here. of some kind. It's clearly like set up as if you know someone was being cared for here. It's a picture. Alessa. That was the girl we saw in the uh, the boiler room. Alessa. Okay, there's a key next to us. Examination room key. Okay. What's this? Got appears to be drugs. Is there a picture over here? Can we examine this? No, we can't. Okay. Right. Did we check this bear? One. Okay, it's jammed. Right, so we need to go back. Okay, what's at the end of the hall here? There's an, there appears to be a gate we can't go through. Okay, well at least we've got enough stuff to go on now, so... 
Let's go and put the VHS. I'm trying to remember where the room of the VHS was. Wasn't it the third floor? Okay. These are back in these. the old basement storeroom. Okay, so we've got an examination room. Let's just take a look at the map for a second. So, um, Okay, so the examination room on the first floor, we need to go there, and we got that VHS. So I think it's the third floor that had, yeah, room 302. Let's go look at the video first, because I have a funny feeling from what I remember about the examination room is like a cutscene or a major thing that happens there. So let's quickly go and take a look at the VHS first. And I might save before we go into the examination room just to be safe. Okay. Sure, I'd like to make doubly sure. Okay. What is it? It's a video. Ooh, sh shotgun shells. Apparently, I never picked these up. It's a videotape. Put it in. Put it in. All right, where is the videotape? There we go. <clears throat> that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> I hate this. I hate the static channel. Right. Well, that wasn't mysterious in any way at all. Okay, well, I guess our only lead now is to go to the examination room. Alright, let's go back to the first floor then. And yeah, run into the wall while we're at it. I must have given Harry at least several bruises at this point by constantly running into walls. I'm sorry, dude. Alright. Let's see what's on floor number one. We're just going to quickly make a save. I've made several saves now over the course of this, but I just want to be doubly sure. So, before we go into the examination room, so let's make a save. Where's the director's office? There it is. Okay. And, yeah, so there it is. Just in case, I always like to have the others as backup, just to be safe. Right. Okay, so the examination room is through one of the other rooms, the medicine room, just on our right here. Okay, let's go, let's see what's in the examination room. Cutscene. Oh hey, it's that nurse from the intro! Okay, that's a bit forward, but considering where we are, I'll, I'll give you a free pass. Hello. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? Pretty good question. My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. You're going to tell her you're a tourist, Harry, like you've been telling tell everyone? Me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. They ace everybody. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. Just great. Fantastic. Just Thanks, Lisa. It. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? <sighs> you know, that, Short, that sentence hair, really warms old. the soul for me. It really does. A seven-year-old girl. 
What, she's your daughter? No, I'm just a weird man looking yes. for a little girl. A seven-year-old girl. Yes, they exist. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. Did you see a gunned uh, revolver-toting doctor here before you got knocked out? <sighs> That's all right. Because that would explain a lot. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? Yeah, a you lot of stuff, know? actually. Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. But I've entered anyway on several occasions. So I really don't know. That's a lie. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn. Oh no. My head. I forgot to tell you. What's wrong? I suffer from sirenitis. Harry, let me help you. Harry? My only regret is that I have sirenitis. Was it and dreaming? now we're back. You were too late. Oh, okay. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. That's your name. I don't have anything else to say to that. What's her, that's her name. What's in a name? That's her name. Great game. And comic. being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire. Childish sleep talk. Yes, very childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. Oh, that fella from Radio Shack said I was mad when I told him this would happen. But look at it now. <laughs> the other church, the... This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. That green key looks like it was taken from Have a from a Tomb Raider level. On the ground all over town? Yes, I have. So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Or hey, grave, wait. grave, unexplained things will happen because, you know, we like being cryptic here in Silent Hill. It's kind of what we do. Either get with the program or don't get anything at all. Okay, so we're going to the antique shop. I suppose let's venture forth then. Well, let's wave goodbye to Alcamilla. We've had an interesting stay, but I think it's time we moved on. Hit the road, Jack. Is it right? I'm switching back to the pistol now. I wonder if the dogs are still out here. The dogs are. Yeah, they are. Okay. I still have the videotape in my possession, so I'm assuming I'll have to use it again later. Okay. Right, so where's the antique shop? It help, helps to have a map. Okay, and everything's gone a bit weird. Okay. Oh, there it is. Antique Green Lion. It's near the town center. Okay. Do not adjust your, um, your TV or your computer sound settings that's supposed to sound like that. But now that we got further away from the uh, possible, we're not really hearing it now. It's creating quite the cacophony of sounds, isn't it? Alright, just keep going on Sagan and turn left. That's the good old town center, which I'm assuming is like a shopping mall. I believe we go there later in the game, if I remember correctly. Wow. <laughs> this is my favorite track. Wibbly wobbly noises. It sounds like a truck horn that's being, like, strangled. Okay, I've rerun past this. Here we go. Wait, isn't this where we saw Alessa walk into earlier? Hmm. So, I had a feeling we would come here. Alright, let's go through.
The other church? Okay. Well, this is the antique shop. None of this stuff is of any use. Oh, there's something behind here. Can I move this? Yes, I would. I would. This is the second cabinet I've had to push. Harry, I foresee a career in furniture removals. What's this? Oh. Harry! You've already, you're about to Sorry? blast me. I thought I told you not to point that gun at me. <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. I'm just going to totally ignore the fact you pointed this gun at me. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. You should hear some of the stuff I've encountered. It's nuts. Oh, trust me, it is nuts. What are you doing here? Brazil nuts. Hazel nuts. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. Wow. I couldn't get out. You must have kept up pretty well. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. Phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? That's an affirmative. No. I did see a girl. Oh wait! I'm sorry, I take that Was back. It Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I'm and guessing it her, I'm guessing vanished. I'm guessing it was Alessa. I don't know about your daughter, but And you just let her go? <laughs> Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. You're gonna see Harry pull out his gun in a minute. How could you? Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. She no-clipped her way across. She's cheating. So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. She no-clipped. I'm telling you, she no clip. She used action replay or like the the console inside of a Valve game. Get yeah. Valve anti cheese. Get Steam on. Get Valve on the line. Get Valve anti cheese. Yeah, I met this Ban her. Woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Oh yeah, we're well acquainted. <laughs> Dahlia Gillespie. No. <laughs> and. She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Quite like the darkness we're in right now. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> they sell them to the tourists. We did find that out at the police station. We still can't figure out who's behind it. It's a good thing we found None out that information earlier. Out. The investigation is stalled. Back to law and order. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. It's a fair assumption. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that noise was perfect. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? It's a hole. Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. <laughs> we don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out. First. Because I'm the more experienced one. You're the cop, I know, but I've got. I should go. That's that is the reasonable answer. No, I'm going. <laughs> Come on, pull the badge on him, Sybil. Pull the badge. I'll cover you from here. Wow. You immediately just gave up. He's just like, nah. Fishy, get back here on the double. I'm not gonna. You go first. I'll just. I'll just cover you. Okay. She just throws. She just gets Jack and throws it over. Over him. Yeah. Cover me. Do you know anything about? Well, like some other world. It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? This is the part where she thinks he's on I'm drugs. I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. It's like me during that puzzle in the last verse. And I hear sirens in the distance. Oh yeah, this is me talking about my sirenisis. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? The good kind of hallucination, if you know I what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Fair enough. 
Oh, poor Harry says it's actually kind of disappointing. I was like, just wondering. Oh. Never mind. Sounds like someone that he's like he didn't get to go to the zoo. Oh, I missed missed the tiger exhibit. You're tired. It's true. Yeah, maybe. And in I go. And then you just hear a scream and gunshots in the distance. Okay, I guess we're going forward. Creepy ominous, ominous noise is continuing. Another hole to go through. What's in here? Oh look, it's the other church. What's this? Some kind so if this is the other church, where is the other mother? I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Wonder if the other mother is around here. You're not my mother. You have those but buttons. Do you like them? I love that movie, by the way. What a great movie that is. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. Okay. Ooh, there's an axe here. Can I take this? I can! Nice. There's a door over here. Lock is jammed. Okay. Guessing, can I... Do I still have the lighter? No, I don't. Don't think there's anything I can really do here. There's just there's some powder left in the chalice. We got an axe. There's a bit of wall over here. I'm, can I break it? I'm just kind of checking just before I leave. That is a no. Well, this is definitely faster than the hammer, but it definitely doesn't have the reach. I'm probably going to stick with the hammer in me. Guessing there's nothing else here. Let's just leave. Wait. What the? Okay, things just escalated quickly. Are you okay? I think now's the time to go in after him, Sybil. Harry? Yeah, just nonchalantly walking up. Harry? I guess we disappeared. Oh well. Hey Lisa. Sorry I kind of uh, disappeared there for a while. I'm going Harry. to be back. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. I like how everything's blurry here just to kind of make it more dreamlike. That's cool. Nice hey, touch. You don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Trust me, seriously, it's nothing you need to worry about. You're sure. I'm not going to press you on it or anything. Do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. I just know her name. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Hmm... Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Not a bleeding clue, my friend. The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I know. Oh! Do. A lot of people are surprising me Before today. This place was turned into a resort. Like opposite day. The townspeople here were on the quiet side. Seriously, they never talked. They were in a John Krasinski movie. Some kind of Weird religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. Fantastic sweets. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. It's fair, fair I suppose. Then a lot of new people came in, and everybody clammed up about it. Those outsiders. This is sounding a lot like Hot Fuzz. This is sounding more and more like Hot Fuzz with every second. The gray are good. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents, 
people said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. No, you're actually giving good details here. Don't stop. I want to know more. Oh, Lisa, why dream? did you stop talking? Because look where I am now. Did I pass out again? No. 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 I don't want to think so. But maybe this is all just going in, on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. Oh, if only things were that simple. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake, but the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know, but if she didn't stop talking, we would have been, we would be with her right now. But no, she had to stop talking. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good uh, part, uh, place to stop. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye!